welcome to today's training video okay and also welcome to my channel if you're new to this channel athlete game changer kindly subscribe okay so today i'll be making a video showing you how to set up your business email so first and foremost let me assume that you've created your system.io account okay of course you already know what system.io is by now is a complete funnel that allows you to create okay it's a complete system that allows you to create funnel okay a complete funnel for your business it gives you a complete business solution okay where you can create your funnels you can do your email marketing and you can even start for free okay and expand your business till you're ready to become a paid member so I'm um, in my system this is a new account I want to use for throughout this training series okay so once you sign up to your system.io account you can see this is your dashboard you have your affiliate dashboard your marketplace these are the contacts where you can start building your email list these are the funnels okay I'm sure you know what funnels are these are your emails, your email marketing, you have your newsletter, your campaign. We are going to go through each and every one of them. But after signing up for a system.io free account, you can see here you have upgrade. Where you can upgrade from the free plan to the paid plan, okay? So once you sign up for a free system.io account, the first thing you want to do is to create a business email okay now the importance of creating a business email is so that when you want to send out emails email marketing you want to send out emails to your subscribers you have high del deliverability rate okay you'll be able to hit the inbox of people okay of your subscribers you'll be able to hit their inbox okay it is very very important so that is why you need to create your system.io uh, sorry that is why you need to create your business email but before that you need to have a domain okay you need to have your own domain name that is the first thing you need to do and i okay as you can see over here i bought a domain name with name silo okay you can come on name silo check the link below you're gonna see a link that takes you to name silo if you use the link i get some little affiliate commission from it okay so check the link below you're gonna see this link so once you click on the link it takes you to name silo as you can see it over here then you can just search for your domain name and you can buy a simple domain okay you can go for it com dot info dot club okay dot net whatever extension you want to go for make sure you understand the niche you want to be in make sure you understand the business you want to go in okay so once you've registered your domain you have your account this is my account with system.io okay so once you've bought a domain now the next step you want to do is to sign up for uh okay to get a business email okay when i talk about business email i mean an email that is tied down to your domain name like this particular domain name is start your business dot info this is my domain name so your business name your business email is going to be like info at start your business dot info instead of using your name dot gmail dot yahoo dot olx or dot hotmail okay it will not be good using such free do free emails okay so now let's proceed i really don't want to go talk much about getting a domain name because i know it's pretty simple you can quickly look up on youtube or, or on google and see how you can get your domain name but simply click the name the link below go to name silo search for your domain name it's pretty easy and sign up for it okay then once you've done that and you have your your system.io account okay you'll see the link also below click on it sign up for a system.io account now the next thing you want to do is to sign up for a business email now signing up for a business email you particularly you need a hosting and a domain name okay you need a hosting and a domain but since we are only buying a domain name what we are going to do is we are going to be using a third party third party known as zoho okay so you can see just visit zoho zoho.com okay 
visit zoho.com zoho.com is a third party that is gonna give you a free business email that will be tied down to your domain name so I'm gonna be showing you how to link your domain name to an account on Zoho and create your business email okay so all you just need to do is to head straight to Zoho head straight to Zoho and create a free account so oops let me check my connection and I'll create a free account and I'll come back to this video okay okay so now I'm on Zoho's website can you see it zoho.com okay this is, I'm on the website right now so all you need to do is to sign up for a free account sign up for a free account okay you can see it's free free sign up so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to this email section and click on sign up because I need a free email with them okay so you enter you click on the business email okay make sure you tick the business email tick the business over here then you enter your name your email and your password so let me do that straight away and come back to the video okay so I just signed up for a for a Zoho account right about now okay alright so as you can see so now what you're gonna do is you'll see yourself in this other place okay you can see paid plan you have the the paid plan and others but we don't need all these okay all you just need to do is scroll down and go to free plan you can see free plan go for the free plan so it's going to load to the admin panel okay you're going to take you to the admin panel so now you've now created a free zoho account okay you've now created a, a free zoho account so now the next thing you want to do is to link this zoho account to your domain name okay to your domain name the domain name you bought from name silo okay so now what you want to do is you want to click on add now add an existing domain so you click on add an existing domain you click on it so now you want to add your domain name to it so okay so our domain name here is okay let me come back to home so that i'll show you how to locate your domain name so now this is the name silo okay the name silo okay website okay we're on the website right now so now if you want to locate your account just go to my account over here go to my account over here you click on it now as you click on my account you can see domains over here you can see account home page this is your domain manager you click on your domain manager all right so now you can see your domain loading so this is your domain this is our domain start your business dot info so over here you're gonna see this www dots you just need to fill it up with your domain name okay start your business your business dot info double check it so that there won't be any mistake okay start your business dot info start your business dot info okay provide your organization name you can give it whatever organization name you want to give it i'm giving it wonder digital products okay wonder digital products then industry type i'm going for let's see what they have over here let's see what they have okay i'm going for marketing and advertising okay you click on add okay so now they want you to verify your domain you just added your domain now on zoho they want you to verify your domain to be sure that you own this domain 
without you verifying this domain they can't give you a professional business email okay so now you click on proceed to verify your domain okay so can you see these are the instructions now that they are giving you to verify your domain okay so now what we're gonna do is they say one we have identified that your domain name is name silo log into your name silo dns account two step two is add a new text record and paste the below txt value into the dns configuration okay click here for detailed instruction so it is quite simple so all you just need to do now is to head over to your domain okay back to your domain name in names in your name silo account now you can come over to this place you can see this global sign over here it is called the dns manager you locate your dns manager you can do this on namecheap you can do this on godaddy you can do this on any other domain provider okay they are all the same thing but we are doing this on name silo so you click all of on this global sign here it takes you to your dns manager okay okay now you we are in our dns manager so now what we want to do next is to add this you can see it we want to add this we want to add this text records okay so they say we should add it to our domain name and it is called the txt name okay txt name so all we need to do now is to click on this txt over here you can see txt click on it then we come over to this host name this host name over here all you just need to do is to put in this at sign just put in that at sign then for the text over here you come over here and copy this value copy the whole the whole of this just click on copy here then come back to your name silo then paste the value in the text field over there then click on submit okay so you have added the text record okay you've added your text record successfully so what you want to do now is to go back to your zoho account and click on verify okay you want to verify the text record okay sometimes you might get this text verification field sometimes it can take up to 30 minutes one hour sometimes it can take up to a day okay so all you just need to do is to wait for like one hour but basically 30 minutes to one hour it should be recorded okay it should be recorded and this will verify successfully so let's wait for like 30 minutes or one hour and come back to it okay okay so we're back okay so now what happened here is I waited for like one hour like I told you guys wait for 30 minutes or one hour so I waited for one hour and I just click on that verify my domain okay I just clicked on it and immediately you click on it this is what you're gonna see you have now verified your ownership domain ownership okay once you click on it to show you that you verified your domain ownership so what we want to do now is to now create our email logins okay we want to create our email logins so now what you're going to do is you're going to create the email that you want to use you want to you want to create like maybe like say info or you want to create like say support or you want to put your name a brand or whatever you want to put there okay but for this case let me just say support okay let me say support or let me say start your business start your business okay whatever name you want to use you can use it okay so let's say i'm using start your business at start your business the info or you can say info at start your business whatever you want to use okay so i'm using start your business or be your boss let me use this one be your boss be your own be your own boss be your own boss okay be your own boss be your own boss okay great so let me create it like this
Okay, so you can see it, it is created. Be your own boss at startyourbusiness.info. Okay, so now the next thing you want to do is you want to proceed to group. If you want to set up groups, okay, you really don't need that. And I remind you, you can add five accounts to free to the free plan okay that is you can add five users it's called users you can add five users meaning you have five different business accounts in zoho free plan okay so let's go let's proceed proceed to dns mapping okay so let's say we proceed to dns mapping which is the next step okay all these are just okay now you just click on start data okay migration okay configure the server okay all these we really don't need any just proceed to mobile we really don't need that just leave all those proceed to okay your setup is complete okay now you can also go to you can also go to the play store or apple store and download the uh, mobile app so that you can sign in in your phone on your phone on your smartphone and follow up your emails you can start sending and receiving emails from your smartphone okay i hope this video is really not confusing and not complicating it's very very simple okay once you're able to verify your domain you create your email once you create your email you just click through the step until your final step that says you're all set okay you're all set up so now in the next email okay you go to console okay go to console or you go back to your inbox whichever you want so this is your dashboard okay this is your dashboard okay you can still go back to your email and check out your emails so that will be it for setting up your business email okay can you see this is our professional email this is our business email we are going to be using this email to be setting up our system dot io so i hope this this video rather is self-explanatory and with this video you can be able to set up your business email with zoho.com so that will be it for this video in the next video i'll show you how to start setting up your system.io .io, okay your account your email marketing your funnels and everything okay so thank you guys for watching and i'm out